Hi, my name is Erica. Welcome to my channel. I'm super excited for today's video. I've been waiting for festival season to come. It feels like forever. And so it's finally here. My friends and I are going to Coachella. And I thought it would be such a cool like series to do on my channel. So I'm going to do three festival looks. Coachella is three days. And I know I'm going to need three different looks to do for Coachella. So, so if I need three, I figure... Some of you guys might need three. I've been to Coachella a couple times and the times that I've been, it's been unbearably hot. So I knew I wasn't gonna go out there and have on like a full face beat down of makeup. Like it's just, it's unreasonable, you know? It's like, I'm just gonna sweat all that off. I really am. So I'm going for more of a natural look as far as my base is concerned. So I'm gonna be very minimal on the face products and then most of the focus is going to the eyes. The first thing I'm gonna work on is my eyebrows. I'll probably speed through most of this because I do have a tutorial on how I fill in my brows and I'll link that down below. One of the ways that I like to fill in my brows when I'm going for something natural is by using my bushy brow pen. So this is from Lime Crime. I'm gonna start out by just laying them with some brow gel just to see where I need to fill them in. Now I'm gonna go into my Lime Crime Bushy Brow precision pin is that what it's called yes and it's in brownie and i'm just gonna make very light strokes in the direction that my hair grows now i'm gonna take a spoolie and just kind of brush through okay so i think those look good i'm gonna do the eyes first because i'm gonna use some tape to make it really easy to get the shape right literally like it's scotch tape like it's nothing fancy i like to put it on my hand first to let the tape kind of absorb some of the oils from your skin. So I'm gonna take the tape and I'm gonna line it up with the corner of my eye and then towards my brow. This is also a good tip. If winged liner doesn't really work well for you, use some tape, cheat girl, cheat. For my eyeshadow base, I'm gonna use my P. Louise. I want enough to wear, not only will it last all day, but that my pigment is super bright. So I'm blending this out. And I'm kind of leaving it pretty thick. I'm going to take my makeup sponge and I'm going to blend it out a little bit more. I'm going to be using the Take Me Back to Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics. I'm going to go into this orange color. And I'm going to use that right under the brow bone. I'm dragging the color all the way out to the tape. And then I'm almost going all the way to the sides of my nose. So I'm using a smaller brush. This is the brush I was using before, and this is the one I'm using now. Going back into that red, I'm gonna pack it in the crease. So I'm gonna go into the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place. So I'm gonna go into this orange color, and I'm putting that all over the lid. Love that. So I'm just going back and just blending out the edges way up here. I did not add any product. Just making sure all this is blended out right up to the eyebrow. I'm gonna take some eyeliner. I have some glitter eyeliner. This is the Stila Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in Midnight Cowboy. And I'm going to line my lid. Cute, okay. I kind of blinked a little bit and some transferred, but it's fine. I'll um, brush it off when it dries. I'm going to go into my waterline. I have a gold liner here. So I'm going to use that in the waterline. The Zulu palette has this bright yellow. I'm going to put that on the lower lash line. If you want this to show up more pigmented, um, all you have to do is put down like a white base and it'll be super bright. But for what I'm doing, I don't want it much brighter than this. I'm going to go in with my CoverGirl liquid liner and I'm going to make a double liner. So now that the liner is on, I can take off the tape. And now I'm going to take a makeup wipe and just clean up any fallout. I'm going to dip into my gold trophy wife by Fenty and I'm going to use this in the inner corner and I'm also going to go over the gold. Now I'm going to apply some mascara to my top and bottom lashes. Actually, do I want to put it on the bottom? Maybe not. Actually, I'm going to actually I'm not going to put it on the bottom lashes. For Coachella, it's like the middle of the desert. It'll probably be very hot. So, instead of using a lot of powders, I'm going to stick to using pretty much all cream products from here on out. So I'm gonna take my Fenty Matchsticks in Caramel. For now, I'm really just using it to cover up any imperfections. So like for example, I have this little bump on my forehead. So I'll hit that a little bit. And then I'm gonna go right to the under eye. 
and I'm gonna work it right up to where my eyeshadow is but not too far up I don't want to disturb the glitter I'm gonna take my Fenty matchsticks in truffle For blush, I have the, this is Stila, it's called Convertible Color, and you can use it for either your lips or your cheeks, and I'm gonna use it on my cheeks. And this color is called Petunia. So with clean hands, I'm just gonna go in with my finger and tap it on. I'm gonna use my makeup sponge to like blend it out. So I got some NYX Liquid Illuminator, it's called Born to Glow, and I'm gonna put that on the high points of everywhere. The Fenty Trophy Wife. Now I'm going to put on my eyelashes and I'll be right back. Now that the eyelashes are on, I only have to add a few finishing touches on the look, one of which is a lip. So I'm going to um, use Hot Fire for the lips. I'm trying to figure out if I'm like in love with this orange or not. Nah. I'm going to tap some Trophy Wife on top and see if I like that more. And last. But not least, I'm gonna add some jewels. I got them super inexpensive on Amazon. I think it might've been like 12 bucks for like six separate packs of these. I think this will look equally cute with like a nude lip. So I'm gonna try that as well. So this is the completed look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check back tomorrow for a completely different look. And thank you so much for watching.